When the law fails to serve justice, one can buy justice. Underground groups offer assassinations at reasonable prices, but they only take on missions that they agree would serve justice. This is a story of Teshu Fujioka, a doctor by day, a hired assassin by night. It was a warm spring evening when Teshu was ordered to murder Natsu and Echigoya. Both were guilty of kidnapping village girls and selling them as slaves to neighboring states. The families of the daughters felt that the officials would not punish Natsu because he was a high-ranking statesman. Both Natsu and Echigoya must be killed, not just one of them.
lost him.
Hey, it's Goya. Give my regards to your old man. Where is Nosso? We think he's in the main house. Got it. Tell the boss I'll be done within the hour. Understood.
Then you sell the girls into slavery and grow rich from your disgusting trade. How did you get here? What the? Was that one of Goda's ninjas, my friend? You've been watching, boss. Zenosuke Otou. His mild-mannered appearance conceals his true identity. Leader of the underground organization Muzen that employs Teshu. Well, you saw it. Now we won't be able to collect for this contract. Never mind that ninja, Teshu. Don't ever cross swords with the Azuma. Nasu was killed by another assassin. This truly bothered Teshu. He could not sleep well that night. Teshu's curiosity regarding Goda's ninjas escalated because Zenosuke kept telling him to forget about it, since crossing swords with the Azuma was the same as suicide. But Teshu was still angry that he could not collect his fee because Rikimaru got to his target first. Ignoring Zenosuke's advice, Teshu sneaks into Goda's castle to find Rikimaru and prove to himself that he is the better assassin. Thank <laughs> you. 
came here looking for you, ninja. Ugh! 
Why did you stop? To light a candle is to cast a shadow. You stopped first. I wasn't trying to kill you. Just wanted to make a point. But if we meet again, one of us will die. Maru, Teshu takes on a new job to assassinate Yuge. As a vassal within the house of Samurai Tadakoro, Yuge has gathered foreign ronins to perform evil acts against Lord Goda. Upon entering the Tadakoro estate, Teshu notices that there are two different types of samurai there, Tadakoro samurai and foreign ronins. Teshu must find and assassinate Yuge, but he must be careful. He may kill the foreign ronins, but not any of Tadokoro's samurai, because doing so will make him a wanted man.
Yugi-sama, I am here to pick you up. Who sent you here? The master of a land called Hell. What? Who are you? I'm here to kill you. You are pathetic. Guards! Master Tadokoro's been killed. Find the murderer! Go! Tadokoro? Sounds like a mess. Time to go. Teshu receives a message. To avenge my father's death, I call you to a duel. Curious to see who the author is, Teshu decides to sneak around and go to the specified location. It was a deserted temple filled with ronins.
Ga! Tetsu Fujioka, you have killed my father, and now I must kill you. You don't want to talk, do you? Wha what? I usually don't do this. Kill me. Just kill me. No rush, just sit tight. Ah, the into the deal. I want a piece. Nonsense. We were hired to kill both you and the girl. Only then will we receive our payment. Ah, oh, thank you. What? It all makes sense now. Thank you very much. 
It's time to cut you out of the deal. Where are Who gave you? you permission to come through here? Ah! 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 No intruder! Ah! Ah! Well, you heard it all. I've taken care of the bad guys. Give it a few minutes and your body will move again. You should give up the samurai life. It's too complicated. Won't it be better to find some happiness in life? The past is the past. Just move on. Six months after Teshu's failure to kill Nasu, Teshu takes on a new order for the murder of Ganda, the head of a new religious cult that has taken over the Buddha temple on the border of Goda's realm. Ganda was guilty for taking part in the plan to sell village girls to neighboring states as slaves, but he slipped through the legal cracks because of his religious profession.
killing me.
policier. Well, well. What have we here? What? Denied. You're coming with us. We need to talk. For Teshu, it was a big surprise to see Jinnai, a former member of Muzen, the same underground organization that Teshu belonged to. When Teshu awoke, he was in a prison cell. All of his tools for his midnight job were confiscated. Teshu must get his tools and escape. Let me out of here! Yes, of course. If you take a job for me. Job? What job? Terminate Zenoski. The boss? Well, what do you say? You know I can't do that. Fine. Then you can stay in there until you... You rot. bastard! Let me out of here! Hey! <laughs> Jinai always was sloppy. Ah, back in business. No sense in sticking around. Now let's see what they've done with my tools.
cold shiver went down Teshu's spine. It was intuition, a gut feeling that something truly bad was about to happen. Teshu hated himself for feeling these things in advance. Teshu must hurry to the house in the cemetery because Senkichi would be waiting for him there to hand him his payment for his services.
I see you.
What? Senkichi was dead. Teshu knew that it had to be Jinai, because Jinai was the only one who knew about the secret handoff point for payment. Zenosuke would know what to do. Teshu rushes to the Ronin village to meet with Zenosuke. The town was infested with Jinai's men.
boss. Ah, Teshu. I have a job for you, if you are willing. There is no client. You would be working for me. You want me to take out Jinnai, right? He and his thugs are trying to destroy this city. They said I was in their way and tried to kill me. Were you hurt? Teshu, don't be stupid. I am Zenosuke Otohu. I would never be injured by common criminals. Sorry, it was a stupid question. This will be the last job, Teshu. I'll be retiring. I understand. I was thinking of moving on myself. Good. Very well, then. So long, boss. Take care of yourself, Teshu. Let's get this over with. You chose not to be on my side. Once I take on a job, I always see it through to the end. Then there's nothing more to say. 
Isn't it about time you showed yourself? Suck you! So, you knew. Ukiyo lays the trap, but Sakyo does the killing. Hell, I bet your targets never even knew there were two of you. The killing was too many. Ah, the good old days. But I'm done taking orders. It's time the world learned to fear the name Jinai Sakyo. I won't be needing this any longer. There is still time. If you hurry, you can catch your brother on his way to hell. You. This place will blow up any minute now. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Sakyo, I'm sending some friends to join you. A needle to the neck. If we, if we meet, meet again, 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 one, one of, of us, us will, will die. die. Well, now we're even. When the law fails to serve justice, one can buy justice. Time will only tell if the flaws of legal systems will ever be fixed. But in the past, murder for hire was a profitable but dangerous underground business that filled in the holes of the law.